Hi everyone, Paul Akers here, road trip. We're going down to the southern island of Japan and we're gonna see something so unique, motai nai, no waste. Hi everyone, you wanna see something amazing? I'm in Kyushu, Japan at Japan Tiny House. You're not gonna believe this, you're gonna see the most amazing tiny house that is so big, you will not believe it, come on. I want you to meet my new friend, Tagami-san, who is the founder of Japan's Tiny House. And he used to be an architect building conventional homes. This is what he did, but he said, no more. I'm gonna start building small, tiny homes at my home. And this was his very first one he ever built. I found a video on YouTube and saw the second one that he built for a couple that traveled around Japan in it. And it was absolutely an incredible video. And I said, I gotta go visit this guy. This is really, really cool. And you can stand up inside of it. It's so small, everything folds down. So when you're driving down the road on a single axle, axle trailer everything just comes down it's got a full cook stove a sink it's got everything in there all the utensils all the dishes it's so cool full stereo system great sound bose sound and it's very roomy we had three people inside here and i felt completely comfortable and then we had two people looking from the outside in it was really an amazing experience lots of glass so it lets the light in very very effectively and he very cleverly found all kinds of great ways to store things all over the place so it has a full system it has an electrical system it has a water system it has storage everywhere it even has a wood so can you believe it? This particular one doesn't, but the second one he built did. He built everything out of cedar, which is super lightweight, very, very durable, very, very stable, and just a wonderful wood to work with. So it's cedar basically inside and out. He lets the outside age naturally. It really has everything you'd see in a mega RV rolling down the road, but only in a very compact system. He used clever little latches to open and close all the windows. Everything's super lightweight. Everything's very uniquely done. Lots of storage. I was shocked how much room it had. And then when it's coffee time, you put out the coffee cup. If it's a coffee shop, which a lot of people buy these for coffee shops, or for foot massage, I was ready for a foot massage, you hang out the foot massage sign. He is so clever and it's so cool. What a great system and idea that he's come up with. And notice all the glass, just letting the outside in. We exchanged books, I gave him my book, I saw his tiny house book, which was really, really cool. Now right next door to the little tiny one was a little bit bigger one. Now this one, quite a bit larger, and this one has a full hot tub in it. He's building it all out of cedar, it will not leak, it expands when you fill it up. This one also has a wood stove inside of it, a full sink, cooktop, and it sleeps four people. Two people downstairs, and yes, there's an upstairs, and two people upstairs. Absolutely amazing. Again, all made out of cedar, super lightweight. It smells great. Just a great warm feeling inside and out. He designs them all for his customers custom. I had just a fantastic time with Takami-san, Yohei-san, and his wife. Oh, so kind, so warm. Omotai nashi. I just love Japan.